To get started, I just added a video clip and a text clip to my timeline that I like to give an animated underline to before we begin. Make sure none of your clips are selected on your timeline. Otherwise, Premiere might try to put your line inside your text clip. Now to add our line, first select the pen tool. Then in the preview, click to create the first point for your line and click again that to create the second point for your line. It's okay if your line isn't perfectly straight, you can always drag one of its handles to straighten it out as long as the pen tool is still selected. Okay, before moving on, I'm just going to use the move tool to reposition my new graphics clip on the timeline that so that aligns up with my text. Now let's head over to effect controls and expand the shape. In here, make sure fill is checked and change it to the color you want for your line. I'll set mine as white. You'll want to check stroke as well and set that to the same color as your fill. Now to increase the thickness of your line, just drag the strokes value to the side. If you need to reposition your line, you can use the selection tool to move it around in the preview. Okay, now that we have our underline, let's animate it first. You'll want to make sure your playhead is positioned at the start of your graphics clip. Then find the transform settings in the same shape section you should already be in and uncheck uniform scale. Next, click the stopwatch next to horizontal scale to create a starting keyframe and set its value to zero. Then move the playhead to whenever you want your text fully underlined by and set the horizontal scale to 100. And now when I play this back, I have an animated underline, but my line isn't perfectly straight, so it looks like it's animating diagonally. To fix this, we'll want to reselect the pen tool. And now you might notice these uneven parts on the path to make the line up perfectly straight. You'll want to drag the line's handle to completely even out the path. Okay, this looks better, but there's still a little bit of jagged artifacting. And that's not because our line isn't straight, but it's just how the preview plays it back that jaggedness won't be in the final export. But if you want to fix it for a smoother preview, just go to Sequence Render Into Out. Okay, now it looks completely straight. So next, let's speed up the line animation by dragging the second keyframe closer to the first one. Okay, that looks faster, but it brought back that bit of jaggedness I mentioned earlier because anytime you change it, you'll need to re-render it if you want perfect playback. We're not going to worry about that for now, so moving on, let's smooth out our animated line so it isn't so linear. This can be done by dragging to select both keyframes, then right-click one of them and select Ease In. Okay, I like how smooth this looks, but let's say you'd rather have it animate from the middle. To do this first, make sure the anchor point property is selected, and you'll need to make sure you're using the Move tool so you can see the anchor point circle in the preview. Now in the preview, hover over the anchor point until you see your cursor change into this, then drag the anchor point to the center of your line. And that's all you have to do when we play this back and animates from the middle instead of from the left. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys next time. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.